Taoiseach, it is time to scrap the television licence and your government needs to face up to this reality. People's trust and support for RTE and the licence have crumbled. People see the fiasco of excess and waste at RTE and they feel taken for fools. They see the lack of accountability too and frankly they've had enough. This collapse in public confidence isn't helped by the revelation that Toy Show the Musical, which lost 2.2 million euros of taxpayers' money, hadn't received formal approval of the RTE board. And today, we have key figures behind that debacle still dodging accountability to the Oireachtas Media Committee. Now, there's arrogance. No wonder hundreds of thousands of households haven't paid the licence. People are voting with their feet. Taoiseach, do you seriously propose to chase those hundreds of thousands of taxpayers through the courts, to threaten them with a fine or even a custodial sentence, or will you act now? Surely we can all agree that the court's time and resources are better spent on more serious matters. By the way, not one of the top brass at RTE have been held to account for wasting taxpayers' money. So it is unthinkable that thousands of ordinary people would face court while highly paid executives get away scot-free having wasted millions. The collapse in public confidence presents a serious challenge in how we fund sustainable, vibrant and diverse public service media into the future, and yet governments all over the place. Instead of being straight with people, we've had mixed messages and contradiction to beat the band. Minister Catherine Martin says one thing, Pascal Donoghue another, Minister Michael McGrath yet another. You yourself have described the TV licence as outdated, that it belongs to a different time, and you're right, Taoiseach, so abolish it. Get on with your job. Minister Catherine Martin talks about not rushing this decision, but you've had the Future of Media Commission report on your desk for two years, and yet you plod along with a license that is outdated and belonging to a different time. Not rushing is one thing, standing like a deer in the headlights is quite another. So we need a bit of common sense, a bit of cop on here. The television license should be scrapped and direct exchequer investment should be put in place to fund public service media. That's what the Media Commission found. That's what's contained in Sinn Féin's motion tonight. Our proposal to be voted on tonight represents the best approach in delivering a sustainable and successful future for public service media. It's also the fair approach for households and for families. This is a positive way for it, and it's certainly not something that should divide the doll. So government must end the merry-go-round of dither, of delay and contradiction. Now, Taoiseach, is the time for a decision. So will you scrap the TV licence and replace it with exchequer funding to ensure that better future for public service media. Thank you, Deputy MacDonald. Uh, Tisha, please. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, uh, thanks very much, Deputy, and um, happy St. Valentine's Day um, and to everyone in the House. Um, I think, uh, Ken Corla, it is very clear that we have significant problems uh, in RTE. Uh, we see a culture of poor governance when decisions were not made or made properly. Uh, we see a culture of arrogance uh, from some of the uh, senior people who are in charge of that organisation. And we also see a wider culture of entitlement, the belief that the revenue from the licence fee uh, should belong to RTE uh, either entirely or for the greatest part. Uh, a sense of entitlement and thinking that went back to an era when we had to fly Aer Lingus and had to get our electricity from the ESB. Things have moved on a lot since then. There's a lot more to public service broadcasting uh, than RTE. 
Uh, I don't agree it's the case that uh, there's been no accountability deputy. Uh, a number of people have resigned from their posts. Uh, people have been called in before the Oireachtas Committee um, and have uh, accounted for their actions. Uh, those who haven't yet should, in my view, and I want to make that very clear. Uh, and if any evidence of uh, criminality or breaches of corporate law or company law are picked up in the audits, they will be referred uh, to the Corporate Enforcement Authority. To date, Deputy, that has not occurred, but it may yet occur, um, but to date it has not. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Deputy, um, we, we will decide as a government on a new means of, serv of, of funding public service broadcasting. Uh, that has to be a method that is fair, uh, a method that says to people who use and benefit from public service broadcasting they should bear some of the cost, uh, that is only fair, uh, and also says very clearly that it isn't all about RTE. Uh, it's also about other forms of public service broadcasting, including that provided by local radio and local media, reporting on council meetings, court reports, for example, uh, and also uh, more widely uh, supporting um, bursaries for journalists, uh, encouraging uh, international correspondence, uh, something we don't have enough of um, when you look at our, our news in Ireland. And I think all that's really important because it's anything that I've seen change dramatically uh, over the course of the past 15 or 20 years in politics. It is how people get their information and their news. Uh, and more so than ever, reliable sources of information are required uh, because people simply cannot trust uh, news and information that they see online, uh, and unfortunately so many people do, and that's the to the detriment of our democracy, uh, not here, not just here, but also abroad. In relation to the TV licence deputy, it remains the law. Uh, the money doesn't all go to RTE, some of it goes to the Public Service Broadcasting Fund, um, it goes to Irish language programming, goes to children's programming, goes to news. Um, some of it helps to pay staff in RTE who have nothing to do with this at all. Uh, and. Uh, I must, I, I, and I believe must feel very demoralised at the moment uh, because of all that's going on. Um, but I believe deputy people should obey the law, and I believe deputy people should pay their taxes and pay their charges. And I think it would be an affront and an insult to the majority of decent law-abiding citizens who have paid their TV licence fee to now grant an amnesty to those who didn't. Uh, I think it would be profoundly unfair. Uh, and I think, deputy, if you did grant an amnesty um, to those who didn't pay, you would then come under pressure uh, to provide rebates for those who did pay. And I wonder, have you considered that? Is that also your policy? McDonald? Uh, Tisha Quartz, an insult and an affront to everyone is your clear inability as a government to take a decision. You've had a report now for two years. It has made a very clear-cut recommendation the abolition of the television licence and direct exchequer funding. This has coincided with a collapse in public confidence in RTE and a consequential uh, non-payment of a TV licence that you yourself has described as outdated and from another era, and I agree with you on that. So the question here isn't the necessity of quality public service media. Uh, in RTE and beyond. We agree on that. The question here is a question of sustainable funding, and your government has to call it. And you have dithered and delayed and contradicted each other. And worse than that, it seems you are now proposing that thousands, tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of people would be dragged through the courts for non-payment of a licence that is outdated and from another era. The answer to Thank this you, is for you to do your job, take a decision, and the only logical decision is the abolition of the licence and direct exchequer you, funding. Deputy, it is please. that clear cut. Yeah. Well, Deputy, it's not. There are a number of options. Uh, one option is direct exchequer funding, uh, but that is funding that might otherwise go to education or health or to pensions, for example, uh, and would potentially uh, give uh, future governments uh, undue influence over RTE if RTE were funded directly from the Exchequer. And we know that there's somebody in this House who might be, be head of government uh, in the next government who's suing RTE at the moment. And that would be a huge conflict of interest, in my view, to have people who are suing RTE deciding how much money they get paid. That's not the kind of democracy we want. That's the kind of thing we're starting to see happen in the United States and other places. And I definitely would not, that, not want that to be the case in our state. 
Uh, an alternative op option, Deputy, uh, is the possibility, for example, uh, of having a, a household media charge, uh, one that's collected by the revenue, uh, another option uh, that needs to be considered. And those options are under consideration by government, and we will make a decision on that uh, this year. But it will require legislation, and it will require uh, systems to set it up. So in the meantime, the TV licence remains the law. Uh, people should obey the law. They should pay charges that they're liable to pay. Uh, they should pay their taxes, and that's a very simple thing. And I don't believe in tax amnesties. I never did, uh, and I don't believe that the policy you're pursuing uh, is the right one. I think it's a return to left populism, quite frankly, um, and I really think it's a mistake.